Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and I'm sorry if this upload is late. I've been having internet connection problems due to the typhoon but now that the video is about to be uploaded, um, this video is all about my bullet journal. I mean what's inside my bullet journal. So I hope you guys like this video. Um, so this guys, um, this is my bullet journal. Well, I only do trackers here because I remembered I could not, I did not use it when doing for like as a planner. I remembered leaving it halfway so I just stuck with trackers because I love tracking stuff. And the reason why I didn't buy um, the journals that most people buy for bullet journal like Moleskin, Lecturum, um, is because those are too expensive and I'm not sure if I I will just keep doing this for the rest of the year. Um, so I'll now be showing you what's inside. And if you're asking, this is yes, this is from a bank. My parents normally get this every year. They have like stocks of that and they're not using and yes. The, the paper quality is really, really nice. So I just said, let's use it. It's free anyways. So I'm not going to be showing you some pages of it because they contain my private information. So I'll just be showing you the trackers part. So the first part of my bullet journal is my grade tracker. Oh, no. Wait. Here my first one is the goals page um this goals page this this are this is the goal this this is the goals that i've written these are the goals that i've written and mainly i just want to get top academic grades um i also want to get top academic grades while also balancing extracurriculars which means my swimming and my um volunteer club and also maintaining to always have time to post to make social posts and i also on top of that want to sleep early because i have a feeling i'm not getting that much sleep because i always feel tired and also i want to stay hydrated because i've been only getting like 1500 ml of water roughly like that and i just want to reach around 2100 so i hope the apps i have in my on my phone and my ipad waterminder will help um i don't know if it's free but before it used to be free so i got it it's really good and tracks and help keeps track of your water and they normally know your like they normally know your goal like they calculate the minimum amount you should drink by your height your weight and what type of activity do you do like every day like do you just sit down or you do a little walking or do you walk all day so it's typically look like working what type of work that you do okay so the next one here this is my grade tracker and as you can see i don't have that much that's coming back because I haven't updated yet. I forget to update and um, if I have space on my trackers, I would normally put quotes, self-motivating quotes or quote love quotes because sometimes as teenagers that happens. So yeah, so I'll be putting different kinds of quotes because when I read this every morning, it really motivates me to start. Um, here I have my swim and stretch tracker. Um, I this is where I track my swimming and stretching. Um, my stretching it just started this year because I got an accident in badminton, and I need to do muscle strengthening exercise like three times a week. So I'm tracking if whether I stretch for three times a week or I'm missing it out, and of course. For swimming, I'm tracking at least once a week, but I can go over if I have time or if I ever remember to go swimming. And as you can see, I use like highlighters. 
This is just the color for swimming that's yellow and blue for stretching. Um, I start. I just put check marks because I think this is just a waste of ink and it also bleeds at the back when I, I saw it. So I just put check marks. And also this, this is just another coat. And yeah, I have until December and by the time like we have a Christmas break, if this tra this tracker is really helpful, I will make another one for 2019 until May since our school ends in May. Um, this is the this is where I keep track of when do I post on Tumblr, and as you can see, um, I posted really much in August because I had so much free time, but on September, I try to keep it around once or twice a week, which means I have, there's also another Tumblr post coming up, so don't forget to follow my Tumblr account. Um, it's GrangerProductivity.tumblr.com. It's the same icon as my YouTube. Over here is just a bunch of motivating quotes also. I have one for October. November and December and please don't mind the uh, how I I don't know how I, how I did my lettering I'm just learning like I just saw this on Tumblr and Instagram and I just wanted to learn it so as we go over I'll show you it gets better and if for those who are asking what kind what kind of pens do I use um I just use the paper made and Muji. That's it. Just paper and made and Muji for all of the coats. So mainly most of my ball pens like got halfway drained because of coloring brush lettering. Um here is Tumblr is where I keep track of my ideas, but I don't want to post it yet. So here if you guys are watching this video, you'll get sneak peeks. Or preview of what what am I gonna post on the next few days for Tumblr, YouTube? Yeah, for Tumblr and YouTube. So for now, Tumblr has three, but it may add to ten. And these are just a bunch of codes. And as you can see, my artistic, artistic. Here's where I track my Instagram post and as you can see I'm also really active before but now I just not have enough time because I had to delete it on my phone and iPad because I was getting too addicted on it so I had to delete it and restricted myself from downloading it again so this is just on an autumn theme because this was during August and it's currently well, it's not autumn technically in my in the in my country or where I live in, but I just wanted a little autumn thing when it's August because I think most countries are in autumn during August to September. Here, November, December. Yeah, here are some more quotes, and here's just a blank page of. An Instagram post ideas which means I don't have any ideas at the moment but I might have here I just have some other quotes and I'm sorry if there's a background noise if you may hear um there's currently a Zumba which means you it's like an exercise that's going on and basically and basically they're blaring it's blaring loud even though I'm so far from it I can still hear it also another those are quotes and for information it's not plant hope good year with seeds plant your hope with good seeds everyone all of my classmates got it wrong when they saw this here I have my YouTube post tracker so I track what I post as you can see this video is going to be late due to internet problems. Mainly there was a storm and it knocked over so it knocked over the electrical wiring which means no electricity which means no internet and it took a while for them to repair it so 
it just got back today so I have to be posting this either today or tomorrow also for October and this goes with a youth I decided to make it a YouTube the red the red and orange theme I think it's Halloween Halloween theme here are some more coats this these are more this this is more of a love coat motivating I don't know what to categorize this maybe pleading self pleading okay same thing same format motivating and kind of a love yeah kind of a love here's the YouTube my my ideas for new videos here's preview and we can think of the my bullet journal one but basically I have lots of them I get lots of them during during my class time when I'm really bored that's what happens I just write it down motivating I don't know what about life also here and yes the smudge are literally like I really intended that just to show that I'm okay when you blush it's like irony of saying I'm not okay but I don't want to tell that to people okay we have the blog post tracker and I just recently started this if you don't if you guys don't know it's Granger productivity dot wixsite.com so I haven't posted that much because I'm trying to think of good posts to make that are not on my YouTube and on my Tumblr life code motivating code another this is green oh this is this looks like Christmas theme they just missed the red but the green like tree the Christmas tree green and brown get it motivating I don't know what category is this as you can see I still have, I also have ideas and also have some more quotes which you guys can just pause and read it yourself okay this is my study tracker this is where I track how many hours do I study and at the end of the month I'll calculate in total how much do how many hours do I like study so like I can compare it with like the next month or the previous months and like I'll know whether I need to study more or I need to study less basically the most time in a day I studied was on September 9 because we had four tests like like each of them are consecutive so I had to study that that took five hours next one's like four hours and stuff and I use here, I started using ball pens, but I didn't like what it, the outcome because I didn't want to waste ball pens on coloring. So I just intended to use colored pencils and these are the Faber Castell ones. And also, I would also write here exactly how many hours and minutes I study. And this idea, um, I saw this, I, I saw this on a post of studying in... S-T-U-D-Y-I-G-N Yeah, so she makes also very good YouTube videos and I followed her so I got inspired to make it because I tried many kinds of layouts for study tracking and um, for me, hers, hers, her idea worked so I have one for September, one for October and these are just the day and hours and stuff and I have one for November and I also have one for December but on it yes um something happened don't mind that but I won't be using that much on December since we end like on the second week of December so basically I have free time during half of the half of December 
here um this is where i track also my sleeping so i also got this for my google image i just search you can actually find good layout on google image or you just go to tumblr or instagram just search what kind of layout for example you want about school or about um sports you can do it and just don't mind them i just accidentally made a mistake so let me show you how this works so i timed this from 9 p.m to 12 p.m the next day so what i do is for example today's if today is September 1, Saturday, I'll log the time that I slept. So it's around almost 12. It's around 11.40. And the next day, September 2. So I'll log what time I got up, which is around 9.20 or 30, sort. And that's what I basically do. So I just switch a highlighter since um, I use more purple for my planner. And I don't use that much pink. So I just intended to use pink and it looks more bright. So I used this whole thing for September. As you can see, it said I got better my lettering. Um, I use October. And one tip, don't use friction when you're going to outline something and erase it because they literally erase. And don't use friction when it hasn't been used for a long time, it also bleeds. And it also may dry out. This is my November. It's in a purple and pink theme, which I absolutely love. And this is my December theme, which is an all out purple theme. Um, now I have my Water Mind. Yeah, I named this Water Minder Tracker because Water Minder is the app. And basically, I track if I completed my goal on waterminder so i'll be showing that to you later but i'll just show you i put check marks if i completed like i will i reach the minimum and then x if i don't so i have this for september october november and december so it's kind of like the same layout i use on my tracking for youtube instagram and my blog post because similarly, you just have to put a check or you can just highlight it, but I chose to put check or X. And I have some more coats. And basically, that's what my bullet journal is. How the app looks like when you first log in. Um. Here I have the ads, so these are just you can you can customize this. So I just customize it myself. Here, so you can you can add like if they're not on your icons. So they have for coffee, tea, water, carbonated water, coconut water, juice, sports drink, energy drink, protein shake, smoothie, milk, skim milk, hot chocolate, soup, even soup they count soda beer wine liquor and why they ask you for what type of drink is because different drinks have like different counts so like say 200 ml of water versus 200 ml of milk tea um 200 ml of milk tea will take twice of like it will take 400 ml on on the goal um it's because i think they have different Oh, there's like I can't explain it just search I'm very bad at explaining so in the history you can see how much you how much are you drinking okay and you can go from today week month year and stuff and these are your like achievements and stuff so this also motivates you Um, here in your settings, you're able to customize your name, your gender, um, your weight. As I told you, your weight also depends on the on how much water you should drink and the activity level. So, um, very active, I think, which means you, for, for your activity, you just do like very, 
you're walking you never you only sit for like 10 percent of the day so light sedentary sedentary is like you're just sitting down most of the time which i do because i'm a student of course i'm a student here you can yeah there's and you have pregnant and breastfeeding for females because of course your water varies i think you increase your water intake you should increase if you're pregnant or if you're breastfeeding um here you have to enter your weight and what's the weather like because if the weather in like in my country is hot you need to also drink more water so you won't be dehydrated or you won't get heat stroke here you can also choose how you want to look like so water intake goal so this is the goal you can either manually set your goal or let the app calculate it for you see it's based on your weight activity and climate but don't use this as a help something and um yeah you have you have reminders achievements yeah so you can on reminders so they'll always remind you to like take your water and this is what i'm saying where you can like change so let's do a 700 so you can name it what kind so mine is normally the brands of the water jug the drink type it it also varies the same one i showed you in the plus sign hydration impact it it's the app it will do it for you and how much is this so normally if you use this like an everyday basis so it's normally 700 ml so what i do if i don't know is i get a measuring cup and measure that whole cup and you can also customize the icon there's styles there's like a lot on how you can customize it and you can also customize the color and you can also change how the app icon looks like at your home screen so there purple i really like the purple one units you can also choose so of course i use ml and pounds since normally we also use it here but if you're in the other country you just pick um yeah i have other settings in here and you can also like sync it with fitbit because you exercise so of course they'll be able to also calculate it and they also have like articles like water drinking tips and stuff they also have a tutorial and stuff yeah and that's it